Good morning, YouTube viewers. Captain Dave in the Wolf Den here, looking at the big monitor through the GoPro because I don't have any of that fancy software and can't even figure out what the hell that is that lets you get in here, see my cursor, and lets you highlight stuff and record it. So I really am not all that technical. This is my community page, right there, BLM 26 CC community page. That stands for Black Lab Marine 26 Center Console, just so you know. All right, well, one day ago I posted this question on my community page because I typed it into Google. Google question search. How many hours will an outboard motor last? The Google answer? There was a whole bunch of little questions if you've ever done this before. So how many hours will an outboard motor last? Google answer. It said about 1500 hours. On average, an outboard motor will run about 1,500 hours or seven to eight years. Of course here, each outboard motor will be different, but if you keep up maintenance and take care of, take care of the motor in question, it can last much longer. 19 people voted as of right now, and the question I posed is, I agree, but in reality of salt water, hard use, okay? So if you agree with the 1,500 hours or seven to eight years in the reality of salt water hard use. 21% of you said you agreed with that. Next question in the poll. You don't agree. What do they mean by last? That was 58% of you. Over half of the 19 whopping 19 votes agreed with that because you know what that's subjective a lot of people don't know what the word last means okay and then the third one was somewhat agree until the warranty wears out uh warranty wears out on them 21 percent said they agreed with that so hang on because this topic of this video will be about what the word last means. On an average, an outboard motor will run, run about 1,500 hours or seven to eight years, okay? Each outboard motor will be different if you keep up maintenance and take care of it. It will last much longer longer. Stay tuned because that's the topic of this video. So how long will an outboard last? That's a very subject question. It's different for everyone. Let's take my kicker here. My little 15 horsepower uh, Merc Pro Kicker. I'd suspect that this will really last because it doesn't get overworked. It doesn't work very hard. It only works when I need it. When I use it for emergency situations, trolling sort of into 
putt putting along into like really shallow water. I've used it for that. Trolling down the beach, trolling offshore. And it's sort of really made to do the job because it's got the big four bladed thruster prop down here. Now let's compare that to your main motor. How long will it last? Again, just like one of the commenters said, I've seen and heard whatever, four or five thousand hours on a crab boat. Well, yeah, I've seen that too. I've seen it where it was five thousand hours on the on a engine on the back of a sea tow boat. They go and they sit and they sit and they sit and they sit and then go out and do some really hard work. And then really hard work. And sometimes they just sit, sit, sit for hours on end. And they actually sit in salt water at a dock. And they still last 5,000 hours. And those crabbers, everybody says that. Do you know their engines many times are held together with, you know, bailing wire and, and string? Do you want that? Do you want one of their engines after they get done with it? Let's say they put 4,000 hours on it. Do you want it afterwards? Hell no. And I mean nothing against them. I know plenty of crabbers. And I mean, it's just that's just the nature of the beast. If you work on the water, what does last really mean? Well, I'm going to give you my perspective. And I'm not going to be talking about small kickers or auxiliary engines. I'm going to be talking about main, main motors. Below that poll, people commented. I believe it was Ryan who said, Oh, I got a 2008 something or other, and I got 700 hours on it. That's a freaking newborn engine. And let's see, there was another one that somebody commented. Mine's a 2014. I got 350 hours on it. You know what your engines are going to do? They're not going to operate because they don't operate. You know the old saying is, sometimes these son of a bitches right here, they break in your driveway because they're just not run. <laughs> you know what I mean? So there's the flip side too. You know, that's the reason why there's so many YouTube channels about guys pulling cars out of a barn or an old garage. Will it run? Ooh, will it run? It's been sitting up since 1952. Will it run? Yeah, yeah you could probably get it to run. Everything else has shit the bed. The seals, the rubber, everything decomposes. But will it run? So the next... The next section of this video and I'm going to give you my perspective just from my lifetime of outboard ownership. You know there's many topics that are very contentious. There's politics, very contentious. Outboard motors, boats, trucks, cars. I don't give two hoots about any of that. My entire life revolves around a couple things. And my subscribers know what they are. Pretty much my boat, my engine, my truck, my tackle. I have taken extreme care of my Suzuki 250. You all have proof. And you've seen it. You've pressed it into your own maintenance schedule. I'm glad to read. Even on Amazon, I've read a a, re a few uh, reviews or two and those reviews are from people who have watched my video but how long will it last well it gets back to it could be your air conditioner in your house it could be your car it doesn't really matter how long it lasts is up to you for me it's always when Something is pushing my buttons. It's just not worth my time to fix it. 
Now, you've seen over the course of the year and last year and everything, me change my trim and tilt motor. You've seen me change my fuel cooler. You've seen me change my anodes. You've seen me change uh, my spark plugs. You've seen me change a lot that is to deal with just my motor, my output. Then there's the, well, to get something fixed, it might take too much away from the usage of it. You know, as I always said, the most favorite line by local mechanics around here, their favorite two words are, two weeks, when can I bring it in? Two weeks, well, you could drop it off. When do you think you're going to be able to look at it? Ah, eh, two weeks. It's just the way they operate around here. I mean, it's just, that's it. It doesn't matter if you, you know, yeah, they say, well, I'll try to push you ahead, you know, because they know you make a living with your boat. You're actually bread and butter. Your bills are paid with your boat. Now let's go over some of the other things that can make it last or not last. If you're in a pristine lake with just beautiful fresh water, your lake isn't that big, your lake isn't that rough, your lake isn't that deep. But boy, that water is just pristine clean. I'd say I could probably, me personally, I will get huge amounts of hours out of my outboard. You should. You should. You're in a clean environment. Let's say, for instance, you're in Jacksonville, Florida, and your environment in which you run your outboard is not very clean. It's acidic because of tannin. It's abrasive because of dirty water. So you got acidic abrasiveness plus it's rough. You're, the engine's taking a beating either one way. You could either go too fast all the time, right? That could be a beating. Or you could be going too slow. And that's sort of a beating because the thing's carboning up on you. I'm going to show you something, and I'm not really sure if you're going to be able to see it. Let me show you this jar. This is red lime in a mason jar. And if you look up, there's black at the bottom. See the black in the bottom right there? That's what red lime could not get rid of. All right? That's what red lime could not eat up. So let me pour off this water and show you what was still left. This is what was left in the bottom of the jar. Hopefully you can see that. That is what was left. That's what red lime could not get rid of. And now, granted, this is just not out of one flush. This is one one thirty seconds of what was in the bottom of my barrel after I flushed the engine out with Ridline. And me and Orowak were talking, and he says, that's probably pure sand. That's quartz. And what does quartz do? Well, it's kind of like cutting diamonds silica, quartz, whatever, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Sandy material. This is the stuff that I'm pulling out of my engine and I know several other, uh, else, others, like, that have done what I've done, have also done it. All right, so just keep that in mind. So if I went, and flushed your engine in your nice little pristine pond, lake, reservoir, whatever. Do you think you'd ever get anything like that? Probably not. But I just want to go over what the word lasts means. I started having issues, totally unexplainable issues, with my Suzuki. 
this is really for the people who are my subscribers, my crew, my peeps that are, you know, always checking out what I'm doing. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I'm having, like, some unexplainable issues. You know, and it goes like this, like this, like this, like this. And these unexplainable issues, from what I gather, are ones that could mean a lot of dismantling of the engine. Could mean weeks. My Suzuki is still under warranty. May 30th. But are my issues warranty issues? Oh, here's another good reason to not fish. But a 30 plus mile an hour gust of wind. Taking an engine and into parts. That's time. Remember, two weeks. Two weeks. Right? So that means a lot of time. A lot of effort. And then, of course, you know, 99% of the time, it doesn't matter if you got a warranty that's, like, got a gold seal and little blue ribbons hanging off of it. That's, they're going to say, well, you know, that ain't covered under warranty. Oh, could you owe us uh, $2,300 for checking it out? Yeah, we, we fixed that Johnson rod, and uh, that's the only thing that was under warranty. And now you're back in business for me. You're back in business a month later. They've got you hanging by your testicles every single time. So what the word lasts means, and it should mean this to a lot of us, unless you just don't use your boat that much, is when it becomes an aggravation. You know, if my, my air conditioner starts crapping out all the time, I'm just gonna replace it. Well, guess what, folks? You've seen everything I've ever done to my motor. The care and the replacing and the blood, sweat, and tears that I have done over the years. Well, it's being replaced. My Suzuki 250 waves goodbye. And there's going to be a new one put on the transom. Because you know why? i got to stay in business one way or another. I could easily give up tomorrow and go work for Walmart. I'm sure I'd get a job at Walmart. Midnight to six in the morning, stocking shelves. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to give up. I have faith in the fact that I just keep plugging. And I'll tell you one thing I'm going to do. And I am going to try to pay this thing off as fast as humanly possible. And then I'm going to get rid of it again. And then I'm going to get a new one because they're just disposable. They may not seem like they're disposable to you until you need it to make your living. So that's a bombshell. After everything I've done, I'll get a new one. And the way I'm looking at it, how long do they really last? Well, anymore for me, it's going to be maybe four years. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Thumbs up. All that good stuff. I know this may not be a huge interest to anybody, but I just wanted to kind of reiterate and talk about that community post. The next one may be pulling away from the dealership with a shiny new engine on the back. See you then.